everyone. I'm doing a resin painting today. I'm doing it on a 12 by 12 canvas. I don't usually use canvases for the simple fact that the resin does kind of droop in the center. But since it's only 12 by 12, we can do it. Usually I use the compressed board. I get them from like Home Depot or Lowe's. So I already pre-mixed my resin. I have brown. My table's a little sticky. And I'm using mica colors. Mica colors are a powder. I have brown. Okay. Blue. Anything darker than the brown. And last but not least, the pearl white. Mix that up. Does look like, like a pearl. <laughs> It's pretty cool. I like it. All right, so right now I have a little bit of clear in my cup. I'm just gonna pour that on the canvas. I like putting a little bit of clear always on the canvas because if I don't, I can't get the colors to move around quite as much as I would like them to. Smear it around with my glove. I don't have very much on there, so, so it won't matter. Okay. So I guess I want to do brown first. Just pour it anywhere. So I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. Purple. Burn it wherever. I'm gonna heat it up and move it around. See what we come up with. The blue. I probably should have used a darker blue too, but I think this will work. Hopefully I have enough resin. I usually like to save a little bit of resin for the end, but I don't have enough to do that. So I'm definitely gonna use every drop I got. Like I said, the resin will tend to sag in the center because it is a canvas and the canvas does move a little bit. So we definitely want enough on the edges. If not, you'll get those little pits where the resin doesn't stick. It drives me nuts. That's when you don't have enough camp, um, resin on your canvas when, when that happens. So we definitely want a lot of resin on here so it doesn't pit like that. Okay, that's what we got. Bunch of little spots. So I'm gonna get my heat gun, take off my first layer of gloves, get my heat gun. And
Okay, it's warm now. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. See when it gets hot, how it moves? When it's cold, it just kind of sits there. When it, when it heats up, it moves all around. You can get it to do whatever you want. Well, no, not whatever you want, but it does a lot more when it's warm. It's pretty wild. I don't want to run too much off because when it's hot, it tends to thin out a little bit and I don't want to lose too much of this. Whatever the heat gun didn't get, the torch will. There you go. I can see them all popping. I like it. Quick and easy. Okay, let me show you what I got. This is my finished picture. I'm going to do a close-up for you. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone.